So first things first, what is boom bap? The world is yours. It's mine, it's mine, it's mine. Whose world is this? Boom bap is a subgenre of hip hop that started in the late 1980s to early 1990s, which is a time that is also referred to as the golden age of hip hop. Boom bap is said to have started on the East Coast. New York to be specific because of guys like DJ Premier, Pete Rock, Nas, the Wu-Tang Clan, and all other sorts of producers and rappers that took on this style. Who, who has worked on your album and who would you like to see work on your next album? My man Q-Tip, Pete Rock, Lost Professor, my man L.E.S. from The Bridge, and my man DJ Premier, you know what I mean, just collaborated to help a brother out, you know what I'm saying? So how is Boom Bap actually made? You know, it actually sounds better coming through the phone, oh, too. I don't know why. <laughs> boom Bap is actually an onomatopoeic term with the word boom referring to the sound of a kick and bap referring to the sound of a snare. So with that being said, it's safe to say that the drums play a major role in Boom Bap beats. A typical drum pattern includes the kick hitting on the one and the three of every bar and the snare hitting on the two and four of every bar. Along with the kick and the snare, there's also a set of hi-hats that play in the background that are constant and consistent, but they also provide a human-like feel, which is known as swing. Here's a few examples of that. But the drums aren't the only major component in boom bap beats. You also have the sample. Sampling in boom bap is just as important and if not even more important than the drums. Many artists that make boom bap beats tend to sample. Sampling if you don't know is when you take a song, usually an older song, chop it up and play those chops in a rearranged order. Or sometimes people just take a section of a song and just loop that section, play some drums over it and call it a day. Typically in boom bap, when producers would sample, it would be jazz, funk, soul, even bossa nova or Brazilian music. So with that being said, in boom bap, the drums and the sample go together literally like bread and butter. And the difference between a good and great producer is one that can make the drums and sample resonate together. Back in the day, technology for producers was sparse, but there were two samplers that were known all across hip hop those being the Kai MPC and the SP2000. Whether if it was Dilla turning off the quantize on his MPC3000, or some are retexturizing the sounds of the drums on the SP2000, these two samplers were iconic for being used in boom bap music, and for good reason. But while the beat is important in boom bap, the lyrics also played a key role. You wanna point the finger? I bring ya. 36 chambers be out, you's in danger. Let me pull your brain out ya with a hanger. Didn't mama take it not to talk to a stranger? Most boom bap beats were repetitive, so rappers would usually spit lyrics that told a story about gang activity, drugs, money, or just the African American experience on the East Coast of the United States in the 1980s and 1990s. Most boom bap songs were thought to be short, lack the chorus, and more lyrical than the other forms of hip hop that was being played on the west coast back then. So with that being said, how is boom bap doing today? Boom bap has always been a subgenre of hip hop and with groups falling apart, artists passing away all too soon, and copyright laws becoming more strict, it unfortunately only reached its peak in the 1990s. While boom bap is nowhere near being mainstream, you can still find forums, channels, 
artists and there's even been a few attempts to rebirth or bring back boom bap in my opinion boom bap will always be a major part in hip-hop and there's even tons of rappers in the mainstream media that listen to boom bap and use boom bap as a source of inspiration but with that being said hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you guys learned something new and if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and comment and like but with that being said peace out